All right, so now we have our Let's Celebrate card. And looks like that. So let me tell you. So I use the watercolor shapes, but you could easily choose to... Um, Yep, the word's going to come to me in a second. <laughs> you could mask a circle, okay? So you could take and punch or cut out a circle and use sponges or sponge daubers and um, or your blending brushes and get your circle that way if you don't happen to have a circle um, stamp, all right? So what we're going to do is grab our pieces over here and you will notice that you have two pieces of white one is for the inside it seemed like um, the Tahitian Tide cardstock was a little darker than I like to to write on so I gave you one for the inside okay so we'll just tuck that in there right from the get-go here all right, so, and you could stamp on this and in fact, well, is it down? No, here, let's, <laughs> I know, silly Leslie. All right, let's put this here so it won't stick. Let's put this under here so we won't get stuff all over the, there. All right, let's see here if we can, there. All right, so let's get our plant here ink that up like that. We still have plenty of room for a message, so go ahead and decorate the inside, okay? <laughs> and this probably has plenty of ink, so I'll just Give those flowers a little like that. Okay, there. Now I feel better. <laughs> I don't always dress up the inside, but I figure might as well, right? All right. There. Okay, so now we can work on the front. So this piece of Pacific Point can go, um, you can do the jaunty angle if you want, or cattywampus or however you call that. Just make sure you're not over the edge of the card or it won't fit in your envelope correctly. Okay, so make sure when you're doing it, you're, you're well within the card. Okay. All right, so that can go on the front. Oop. My little pile of dimensionals over here is there. Okay. So I'm going to just make sure that everything is within the boundaries of the card, card base like that. Then that can get set aside. Then, so the way I did this was I used Balmy Blue and we inked up the circle in balmy blue okay and then I took a little Tahitian Tide and I just inked the sponge dauber and I just kind of caught a little bit of the edge you don't have to give it a lot just so that that part is a little bit different tone okay and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp this kind of towards the middle and 
probably should have had something with a little bit of give to it. So I'm going to try on here and really give it some good pressure. I would encourage you to use a damp and pierce mat or something, um, but mine isn't right here. Okay, so you get that little bit of um, variegated color. Okay, all right, then we can put those away. And we'll get out our black and add the plant here, the flower. This is from Color and Contour. Now, all of that information is in the written tutorial along with the item numbers and all of that kind of thing. So if you need to order anything or feel like you want to order anything, you certainly are welcome to do that. All right, and then I chose the Let's Celebrate, and I think that's from, I forgot. It'll be in your thing. I don't remember where I got this from, but I liked the mixed font, and I figured Let's Celebrate could be anniversary, could be, um, you know, lots of different things that you can celebrate. You could even celebrate a graduation or, you know, whatever. And I didn't end up putting this layer on dimensionals. I just thought, um, how nice to show you guys that with just stamps and ink and not a lot of tools and stuff, you could really have a really nice little card. Okay, so there's that. Okay, be right back. 